How do I fix my Wi-Fi after pressing the WPS button? Hello everyone. Today, we'll be discussing an issue that many of us have experienced at one time or another. What to do when we accidentally hit the WPS button on our routers and disrupt our Wi-Fi connections. Don't worry, it's a common issue and it's also an easy one to fix. Let's dive in. What is the WPS button? First, let's talk about what the WPS button actually does. WPS stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. This button allows for a quick and easy connection of devices to your Wi-Fi network without entering a password. However, if pressed accidentally, it might disrupt your connection. What happens when I press the WPS button? When the WPS button is pressed, it starts looking for devices to connect with, causing a temporary disruption in the Wi-Fi signal. Your devices may disconnect and try to reconnect during this period, which can last for a couple of minutes. This is a normal part of the WPS process, so don't worry. How can I restore my Wi-Fi connection? Restoring your Wi-Fi connection is simple. 1. Wait for a few minutes. Your router will stop the WPS process and return to its normal operation. 2. If waiting doesn't work, try rebooting your router. Unplug it from the power source, wait for about 10 seconds, and then plug it back in. 3. After the router reboots, check your Wi-Fi signal on your device. It should be back to normal. If not, try reconnecting manually by selecting your network and entering your password. 4. In case the problem persists, reset your router to factory settings. To do this, you'll likely need to press a small reset button at the back of your router with a pin or paperclip. Be warned that this will erase your settings and you'll need to set up your Wi-Fi network again. How can I avoid pressing the WPS button accidentally? To avoid this problem in the future, it's best to know where the WPS button is on your router and avoid pressing it unless you're intentionally using WPS to connect a new device. If your router's WPS button is prone to accidental presses due to its position, you might want to consider getting a different router model or protecting the button with a small cover. And that's it. Now you know what the WPS button is, what happens when you press it, and most importantly, how to fix your Wi-Fi connection if it gets disrupted by an accidental WPS press. Remember to be patient and try these steps, and you should be back online in no time. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has been helpful.